We're back in the kitchen cooking with Rainya for Easter. Yeah, we are making the main dish a spiral ham with not one, but two sauces. Yes. And, and Rainya, you're an overachiever. Well, I'll tell you why I'm doing two <laughs> sauces. The first sauce is a cherry sauce. So these are just mm. some cherry preserves. And the reason I'm making this first sauce is for you serving the ham actually on Easter Sunday, mm -hmm. where you can put the, the ham on a plate warm and then put the sauce over it. Okay? okay? The second sauce that I'm going to make is for the leftovers for sandwiches. Oh. So that was the cherry oh. preserves. And here I have some horseradish sauce, just the kind you buy, mm -hmm. and Love a little bit of brown sugar. Easy. Okay. And then it's got some real nice warmth to it when you add in a little bit of cinnamon and cumin. So that those are our warm spices. I'm always amazed how much cumin you use. I love cumin. How can be so lemon versatile? juice? Lemon juice. Lemon. Uh, okay. Well, I I I don't know. I just know the cumin and just seems to blend well. One of my favorite things to do, and yes, I do it at Easter. I roast those green top carrots in oh, the oven. Oh, that's so pretty. And I put olive oil, salt, pepper, and cumin. Really? On my carrots. I need it's that a go-to spice for it rainbow. Really it really is, is a go-to spice. So all you need to do here is warm this up. It'll take a second while that's happening. Okay, so some people will put like a brown sugar glaze, pineapples. You said you yeah, use pineapples, pineapples at Aunt and Pat's house. Yes. Right. Well, um, you can you buy, use this you, after? Yeah. You you know, you buy the ham, right? As mm -hmm. we said earlier. Well, you hope you don't steal it. You no, know, ha ha ha. <laughs> Cute, Heather. Real cute. It's a holiday, Heather. <laughs> We're going to put some lemon zest in here, too. But you, you simply use the glaze, and you, you can stud it if you want with some of the clothes, but you can see here, this is already... Oh, it's cut. Oh, so that's it's kind of hard to way. do the clove right. thing. So this is heating. Now, sauce number two... For our sandwiches. For our sandwiches, and I did bring slider buns. Oh. I figured mm. you might want to try that. I do. Mayonnaise. I do <laughs> and this is just... Like a honey mustard you can put in here. Oh, nice. Right? Okay, so mayo and honey mustard. And some little green onions that you slice. This is a nothing sauce as well. So, so easy. now you have your two sauces going. And why don't you grab behind me... Some buns? Yeah. Now, okay. which way do you want to go with this? Um, I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> well, do you want a sandwich or do you want, do you just want it with the sauce? Do, 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 I'd like a little sandwich. You want the yeah, sandwich? Yeah, me too. I do. Okay. Yeah. There's Although no I love cherries. Someone so I do kind needs of to like try my sauce, right? Okay, I'm well, going to do both. Yeah, can I try the... So there was the lemon zest. Okay. So A little brightness to the whole thing. Yes. Now so, it's warm. Should I use this spoon? Yes. Okay, so and we're then just... here's another one right here. Now, is it bad to put the cherry so the, that sauce on on the sa a sandwich? Is it bad to do? No. No. Okay. No. Then that's what I'm going to do. You can do both. Yeah. Nothing's okay. bad. Nothing's bad. I okay. love your your so the why don't lack I of rules. So just go right over here and so can someone hand me their plate? Yes, I'll go first. All right. So for your little sandwich, maybe that's an ambitious piece. So that's I'll okay. put another one there for the cherries. David, how about you, honey? Okay. Oh yeah. Please, please, please. This I'm looks sorry so to reach good. right in front of you, Heather. That's okay. Let me give okay. you a smaller oh, wow. one okay. for, now for your sandwich. Okay. I'm trying to I get love this. On. So now you a have a little pre-Easter activity here. Okay. So the long and the short of it is, you can go ahead and get this ham for a fraction of the cost simply mm. by buying it, glazing it, popping it in the oven, and you have dinner. That's good. This, how's, the, how's the cherry? This is delicious. Uh huh. Oh, so really good. good. This is just a nice little twist on ham for Easter. Mm -hmm. And it's so simple. It's so simple. I could sim even do this. I think you can. All right. Well, You're watch next week. For easy I know. For you to do. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Look, uh, skill level, you got to match it. <laughs> watch next week when Rainier cooks for Greek Easter. Yes. And for a copy of today's recipes, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. I've still not learned to swallow my food before I start talking. I think I have a little bit of sauce in the corner right now. <laughs>